Voilà. Yes, it's done. OK, it's up to you now. Thank you. <laughs> OK, uh, thank you, Valerie. Um, it's uh, very nice uh, to be here to meet you all. And we want to thank uh, Ebu for this opportunity. Uh, in the beginning, I would uh, like to give the word to our uh, president of Croatian Blind Union. Uh, he has a short introduction prepared. Uh, so, uh, Kruno, please, whenever you're ready. Oh, Sanjana, I didn't expect it to be so soon. But anyway, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Kruno Drensky, the president of Croatian Blind Union. I would like to wish you all a warm welcome to our presentation for uh, uh, blind, uh, Croatian Blind Union. We are very happy to see you all here today and uh, have the opportunity to share our story with you, story about our union. Uh, we are proud of working almost eight years in this field of um, making positive impact on the blind and visually impaired people here in Croatia. Uh, let us also uh, thank to the European Union that uh, invited us and made us the possibility to give us a place and time to network for networking with you. Uh, we hope hereby to build a stronger uh, relations for the future so that we can uh, work together on the, how to say, on the uh, making uh, some positive changes. Uh, we also looking forward to uh, encourage you to make some uh, partnerships with Croatian Blind Union so that we can work together on making stronger impact to the society of blind people and visually impaired people, not only on the national level, but also on the European level, I would say. So, in fact, uh, I wouldn't like to use much more of your time because here with me are my colleagues from the other uh, professional service, and I'm sure you will hear, you will have the opportunity to hear today a lot of information about our union. So just feel free to actively participate in our presentation and uh, let know my colleagues if you have some special questions or ideas or whatever else. So I really uh, appreciate your time and your participation. Uh, thank you, and I will give the floor now to my colleague Sarjana to keep running this webinar. Thank you once more. Okay, uh, thank you, Kruno. It was a really, really great introduction. Uh, so uh, we can move forward now. And uh, Valerie, I'm not sure uh, if I have the opportunity to share screen the presentation. Yes. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. can see. We can see it. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes, uh, it works. Okay. <laughs> okay. All good now. Um, okay. Uh, for the beginning, uh, we can go just uh, very quick uh, through the agenda we prepared for you today. Uh, we already did uh, the first part, uh, the introduction, and uh, we can uh, now move forward to the second part uh, where you can learn a little bit more about us, about Creation Blind Union. And uh, after this, uh, we will share some examples of uh, good practice. Uh, it is, um, uh, these are activities that are not project-based, but uh, are really an uh, important part of uh, what we do. And afterwards, I will uh, give the floor to uh, my colleague Peter, and uh, he will uh, share with you something that we are really, really proud of. Uh, it is uh, the story about Primantura. And uh, afterwards, uh, like uh, Bruno said, we will give the floor to you. Uh, so if you will have um, 
any questions or uh, if you hear uh, any interesting uh, informations during the presentation, please uh, feel free to add your comment or to share uh, something uh, from your own experience or maybe something is different in your country and you want to give some contribution to the presentation, you are uh, very, very welcome to do so. Um, you can do it uh, afterwards in the question and answer session, but uh, we also added the option if um, someone maybe does not feel uh, very comfortable uh, to speak in front of a lot of people, you can also uh, write your uh, question or comment in the chat section and my colleague Matea will uh, uh, keep track on this and we can uh, read it out uh, loud later and we can comment on this. Okay. Okay, so uh, so, yes, let me just inter interrupt you for a second. I would like to be impolite, mm -hmm. but uh, no, actually I'm connected from my work, so I wouldn't be able, unfortunately, to stay for long here. So I will mm -hmm. regard all of you and I'm watching the recording of this presentation. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Krona. Thank you for participating and see you later. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, let's start with the first or uh, let's say the second question where we can learn something more about Croatian Blind Union. And uh, here we will uh, answer the questions about uh, who are we, what are uh, the main activities of Croatian Blind Union, uh, what are some of uh, our projects that we are implementing. And um, I choose uh, not to uh, talk about all the projects because there are a lot of them, uh, but we pointed out just one European project that uh, is uh, basically uh, the newest one and that we are really proud of, so uh, we can talk about it. Okay, uh, so let's start. Uh, as you uh, prob probably already know, uh, we are a non national non-governmental and non-profit organization. We are, uh, of course, member of the European Blind Union and World Blind Union. And uh, as Krono mentioned before, uh, it is really interesting to mention that we are almost 80 years old. So yes, it is 80, not 18. And uh, we are founded in 1964. And uh, we are uh, today the leading civil uh, society organization uh, for uh, organization uh, and people with visual impairment uh, in Croatia. And uh, now we have uh, 26 uh, regional and local associations in Croatia, or uh, it is a total number of uh, 5,000 persons uh, with uh, visual impairments. And um, so for the beginning, we can point out, uh, let's say uh, six main uh, areas uh, of activities what Creation Blind Union uh, works on. It is uh, of course uh, democratic and uh, policy making processes. We have also uh, culture and art, uh, human rights, education. And in this case, it is also a formal and non-formal education, uh, social services support, a very important part of our job and uh, health protection in uh, many different aspects. Okay, so uh, having this in mind, um, when we do our activities, when we plan some uh, project implementation or uh, focus our work, um, we focus the activities uh, on the following. And uh, in, the in the beginning, um, maybe the most important is the monitoring and evaluating of the situation, uh, we do uh, public advocacy, uh, we work with uh, decision makers about um, all the issues that are really important for uh, people with visual uh, impairment. Uh, and after this, uh, also uh, the same important is that we work with our uh, members, uh, so the members organization, and we help also them to advocate for all the issues uh, that are really important for uh, visual impaired people. Um, in uh, this matter of speech, we also provide uh, counseling and uh, free legal assistance. So everyone uh, of our member organization, but also uh, any visual impaired people uh, person can uh, call us, uh, can uh, ask us any questions or um, if they want uh, to find something out about their rights or uh, there is uh, something uh, that they don't know, they can uh, get uh, free support uh, from us. Okay, um, also, as we mentioned before, there are also uh, social services. Uh, it is really um, 
big and important part of our job. We will uh, tell a little bit uh, later more about this. And um, a different part of our work, but uh, also very important is accessibility, uh, mobility, adaptive technologies. And we also work a lot with uh, assistive technology. We have an IT expert uh, that helps all of our uh, members and every person with visual impairment uh, to use uh, some assistive technology. Um, and of course, we also uh, focus on uh, culture activities, sports, uh, social inclusion, uh, and um, everyday life for person with visual impairment. Okay. Uh, so uh, now when we know all the great things uh, we're doing, Creation a Blind Union, uh, you can see now who uh, stands behind all these great activities. And uh, we want to point out at this point that Creation Blind Union team consists of uh, 26 interdisciplinary professionals. Uh, so we have uh, part of our experts uh, doing project management, uh, preparing project application, uh, project reporting and also uh, administrative and financial experts uh, that are connected to this part. But uh, we have also um, education reha rehabilitators, yes, um, social workers and uh, psychologists. They work uh, in office, but we have also uh, the opportunity to go uh, with the mobile support teams. So if uh, any of our uh, users and visual impaired uh, persons need some assistance or help, but they, uh, for some reason, cannot come uh, to our offices. We also uh, provide the opportunity that we come to them. We support them at uh, their own home. Uh, we also have uh, experts in the field of law and some uh, legal uh, regulations and questions, and uh, also some uh, medicine professionals. Uh, this is regarding the eye prothesis. And uh, we also have, of course, social services coordinators uh, uh, who take care of uh, 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 seeing assistance and care assistance and, and some technological support. Um, okay, and now uh, regarding our projects, I, um, I was not planning to point out uh, every project, but we can say that we have uh, in the last 25 years uh, implemented about 140 projects. And uh, we are uh, based on uh, European funds, but also on projects uh, funds on a national level. And uh, from the European fun funds, we can uh, point out uh, Erasmus or Erasmus Plus fund now, also uh, ESF or ESF Plus uh, and Interact projects. And uh, we are proud to say that we have uh, uh, done both roles, also as uh, partners organizations to gain some experience, but uh, also as applicants and uh, as project coordinators. And uh, on the national level, uh, we get uh, local support uh, from our city, from Zagreb, and also from different ministries like Ministry for uh, Social Policy, for Health, for Science and Education, uh, for culture and uh, many. Um, okay, uh, here's maybe uh, interesting uh, to share that uh, before 2024, uh, the situation in Croatia and also in Croatian Blind Union regarding uh, project funding uh, and um, in general funding of a non-profit uh, organization uh, was not really ideal because there was no uh, systematically continuous funding but uh, we always depended only on project funding. And um, it is uh, pretty uncertain and we uh, never know if the project gets funded. So it was not uh, really the best solution. Uh, but uh, we are very happy that uh, since uh, 2024 to mm -hmm. this year, our national uh, foundation from the, uh, for the development of civil society has implemented a new um, policy program, let's say, uh, and uh, we call it national system support and uh, Creation Blind Union is now a user of the national system support which, which uh, provides some uh, basic uh, financial foundation uh, that is not um, depending on project funding, let's say. So uh, it is very helpful for uh, our other projects for working and for getting some uh, continuous uh, financing. Um, okay, uh, regarding projects, uh, here I want to emphasize just that uh, our projects are um, 
are focused on different target groups. So uh, we are not uh, working like uh, only with children or only with elderly people, but uh, we try to uh, focus on all the needs of all target and age groups. So uh, we are doing uh, activities for children and here we include some like uh, activities for early intervention, uh, support, uh, working on their uh, social skills, on social inclusion. And uh, uh, you will see we also have uh, like summer camps for uh, children with uh, visual impairment so they can have uh, also this uh, social skills development and uh, spend their time together. Okay, uh, also we work with uh, their parents, but also uh, with parents that are not visually impaired people, but uh, have um, a visually impaired child. So we provide support also for them and uh, also working with adults and uh, elderly people. Um, one of the specifics here is uh, that we uh, emphasize also uh, specifically uh, women uh, with visual impairment. And uh, we have uh, for 21 years in a row now uh, the uh, networking conference that is also held in, in Primantura. And you will find out a little bit more uh, of, for, of Primantura later on with Peter. Um, okay, when talking about uh, target groups, uh, here we want just uh, to point out that Croatia is the first member state of the European Union to introduce uh, the European Disability Card uh, to our uh, members outside of the pilot project. And uh, we have this also from this year on, uh, from January the 1st. And uh, so far, uh, there are uh, 170,000 uh, cards uh, for people with disability. Okay, um, the last part about our projects uh, is the one we wanted to point out uh, because it is really um, a very new project. And um, actually you're the first ones ever uh, who will uh, hear something about our project because it uh, starts this week on Friday. Uh, actually, on uh, 1st of November, and, um, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, it is called uh, Youth Impact, uh, and it is an uh, Erasmus Plus project uh, in the pole of uh, youth uh, capacity building, and um, we are doing the project in the consortium with uh, four project partners, uh, so we are networking with uh, our uh, partners from uh, Slovenia, from Cyprus, from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and from Montenegro. And uh, in our target groups and our specific objectives, we are focusing on uh, young people and also uh, uh, on organizations uh, who works with young people and institutions. And uh, according to this, uh, we have like um, four work packages, but uh, the main two uh, are, are um, focused on capacity building uh, for organizations uh, who work with uh, children uh, with visual impairment. Uh, so we are doing a really big international research to find out um, what's actually the situation regarding to this. Uh, we get some... Uh, information, some data, and uh, the plan is to build a toolkit based on this, so we can share and disseminate uh, this toolkit to everyone who's interested and uh, others, uh, other organizations who works with uh, people and children with visual impairment. So the toolkit will also be uh, available in English language, and if you're interested, uh, when we come to this part, uh, in the dissemination process, you can maybe also uh, find it on our website. Okay, uh, besides um, capacity building for organizations, we also uh, uh, focus in this project on capacity building for visual impaired youth. And uh, we want to provide them with uh, two mobility programs. Um, and it is uh, actually um, a great story because uh, we are including some um, countries that are not actually yet in European Union, like uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina or uh, Montenegro. So um, uh, children with visual impairment in these countries maybe do, do not have uh, so much opportunities to uh, participate in uh, international training courses or, or in mobility programs. So they will gain a real interesting experience uh, and uh, of course, uh, some knowledge and uh, skills. Okay. Uh, so uh, this was part two, and uh, let's move on uh, to part three. 
Uh, now we are moving a little bit away from our projects, uh, but we want uh, to point out that beside the projects, we are um, doing also really great examples of uh, good practice. Um, I suppose you're doing also a uh, lot of these activities so you can compare them, uh, how is the situation in your country. And in this part, we will uh, talk about social services and uh, innovative aspects of the social services but also um, which is the specific role of uh, creation plant union in these uh, questions and uh, what uh, can we do for what can we advocate and how we can make better changes or how we did make better changes. And uh, in the end, we'll uh, come a little bit uh, <laughs> to mention about uh, rail standardization and also a little bit about assistive technology and uh, what we have done uh, in this part. Okay. Uh, so, of course, the most important part of our social services that Creation Blind Union provides is uh, seeing assistance. And uh, we uh, divided hmm, this situation, let's say, uh, in before and after uh, we got the Personal Assistance Act. And um, it is also, um, let's say, uh, pretty much new. In uh, Croatia, uh, it is from uh, 2023. So um, before we got the Personal Assistant Act, uh, let's say for 10 years, um, uh, the the service of uh, personal assistance was uh, financed uh, project-wise. So um, there was no uh, certainty that uh, if a visual impaired people, a person really needs a seeing assistant, that uh, we can uh, guarantee that uh, we can provide it because we do not uh, actually know if the project will get funded or not, and we do not know uh, in what will be the allocate allocation of the project funds, um, and um, also there was no um, continuous number of hours that we can provide for uh, people with visual impairment uh, according to their real needs. Uh, but there was really just a minimum number of hours and uh, it was based um, pretty much for very, very important needs and for urgent needs. Like if you have a doctor appointment and you need assistance, uh, which was of course, not an ideal situation because in real life, the needs are much, much more and they're individually based. So um, Croatian Blind Union uh, advocated very strongly in this matter um, for uh, visual impaired people, but also for people with disabilities in general. And uh, for the first time ever in Croatia, let's say on uh, July the 1st, 2023, so let's say last year, the Personal Assistant Act uh, was implemented and it was a really, really great uh, change for uh, people with disabilities in uh, general in Croatia. And uh, uh, also we, we love to point here out that um, after this, uh, we considered uh, the personal assistance not only as an option or possibility, but as a human legal right for every person so they can get uh, the support uh, they need. And um, also a great thing is uh, from then on, um, the assistance is based on uh, real individual needs and uh, it provides really a greater change uh, for inclusion and for a, a much higher quality of life for people with visual impairment. Um, so uh, how does this work in Croatia? Um, if uh, you are a person with a visual impairment and you uh, need a seeing assistant, um, it depends on the decision of the Creation Institute Institute for Social Work. And when you get this legal decision, uh, you can proceed uh, further on. And um, now it is financed uh, from the state budget and uh, the ministry responsible for uh, this part um, is uh, responsible to determine what is uh, the cost of one hour. And in Croatia for now it is uh, 11 euros, but um, it is not the net on, um, Net amount, uh, but the uh, the whole amount of one hour, and uh, we are entitled entitled to uh, twenty two sixty hours uh, per month. Okay. Um, also uh, important to uh, mention here that uh, in Croatia now we have the opportunity that the 
um, a seeing assistant is uh, free of charge. So every person with visual impairment who needs assistance can get it uh, without needing to uh, uh, finance a part of this. Uh, the only exception is um, if uh, your monthly sal salary is uh, higher than the average salary in Croatia, which is uh, the latest information from June uh, 2024 is about uh, 1,300 euro, but uh, this situation is uh, really, really rare. So uh, most of the person have uh, it uh, completely for free. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, and uh, also worth mentioning is that uh, if you get a uh, seeing assistant in Croatia, you do not uh, lose uh, all your other rights that you have, like uh, tif tif not oh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's a difficult word for me. Uh, Tiflo technical aid, okay. <laughs> and uh, we also have an inclusive allowance act. Uh, I don't know uh, how it is in your country, maybe you have it already, but uh, in Croatia it is also a uh, quite new act. Uh, it is uh, implemented also this year, in the beginning of the year, 1st January, um, and it uh, helps uh, helped a lot uh, to increase the financial assistance uh, for visual impaired people, and uh, now it is the amount of uh, 430 to 480 uh, euros per month. Okay. Uh, now we would like um, to share a little bit more about the role of um, Croatian Blind Union uh, in implementation of this act and uh, what we did and what we advocated for uh, to make all these great changes happen. Um, so um, for the last 60 ye 16 years, uh, while these um, questions were active while, while we all worked on uh, this, uh, the Creation Blind Union was part of the movement, movement of persons with disabilities and uh, also uh, all, part of all the working groups that had uh, the experts that were relevant for this matter. And um, we advocated very strongly for uh, the status and the position of uh, visually impaired people. And um, we wanted to... Um, we wanted to emphasize by making the personal assistance act that uh, that a seeing assistant should be a um, special category of personal assistant because it is not uh, the same service and it uh, these are not uh, the same activities. And uh, we also advocated uh, to define clear conditions for um, who can be a seeing assistant. So uh, if someone wants uh, to work as a seeing assistant in Croatia, the uh, conditions are that you need to have at least a high school level of education. And um, you need also additionally to uh, uh, get a certificate, let's say, uh, to be a seeing assistant. Um, okay, yes, <laughs> this is it. Um, okay, in order to uh, for visual impaired people um, uh, to use their right for visual assistant, they must uh, first pass the commission for the assessment uh, of uh, user needs, let's say. And um, in this uh, in this situation, Creation Blind Union uh, advocated uh, for a representative of civil society uh, to be part of this commission, because uh, we, uh, we uh, think that uh, if you are an expert and you work in civil society, you pretty much uh, know the best, uh, uh, you have the best knowledge about uh, the needs of the specific group you work for, and uh, uh, this will provide to protect uh, the rights of people with uh, visual impairment. Okay, and um, also another question that we are um, currently working on, still working on, so it's a work in progress. Um, regarding the seeing assistant um, and uh, the education. Uh, for now on, uh, we want to point out that Croatian Blind Union is currently the only provider uh, in Croatia uh, for the education to become a seeing assistant. And this education is uh, licensed by uh, the ministry. Um, but for now on, uh, it is only, let's say, a non-formal education. It is a two-day education. Uh, we do all uh, the subjects that are really important for uh, being seeing assistants. But uh, now we are also working on to um, take this a level higher and um, to make it um, 
let's say, a uh, really um, legal formal profession. And uh, for this, we are trying uh, to cooperate with the creation profession classification fr framework. We call it HACAO here in Croatia. And uh, it is a process uh, that we're currently working on. Uh, and after this, uh, we uh, are planning to have in Croatia a SIM assistant as a really uh, classified profession. Um, Okay, and um, also regarding all the subjects we talked about before, um, besides working only with decision makers and advocating for the questions that are important, we are um, also also uh, parallel uh, working with our member association because, because uh, they have all the same issues and challenges as we have, and we provide uh, support to them uh, for all the questions that they have uh, regarding this um, questions and implementing a seeing assistant uh, and everything uh, we are working on also. So uh, in order to uh, do so, we uh, created in Creation Blind Union uh, document. It is called the standard for the implementation of personal assistance service provided by uh, a seeing assistant. And um, it, is it is an important document because it allows uh, all the organizations uh, on a national level uh, to provide the same quality of uh, service and uh, it is the high quality and it is uh, these are the equal um, equal conditions <laughs> equal conditions of implementing this service uh, so we can make sure that every person with visual impairment in Croatia uh, uh, no matter uh, who is the provider, uh, which organization is the provider of the service, uh, can guarantee that they have the same high uh, quality level uh, of service. Okay, um, moving on to uh, Braille uh, standardization and challenges. Um, here is a bit less important to point out that uh, in Croatia, um, we do not uh, yet have uh, a formally standard, standardized, standardized document uh, by law, and the uh, Creation Blind Union uh, is also advocating and trying to uh, do the initiative to create a Creation Bla Braille uh, standard document, uh, so um, everyone uh, have the same uh, regulations and uh, the same uh, way of working with uh, Braille uh, in Croatia. Okay, um, and uh, here is also worth to mention that uh, Creation Blind Union has a special depart department where we uh, work with uh, translations uh, on uh, textbooks for uh, primary schools and secondary schools into uh, Braille. Uh, so uh, we can provide every child to have the same uh, educational opportunities, uh, no matter uh, of the visual impairment. Um, and uh, for this is also uh, responsible the Ministry of Science, Education and Youth. And um, we face some challenges in this uh, area because um, there are uh, every year public tenders uh, for, for the adaptation of textbooks. Uh, but they're uh, unfortunately announced uh, too late. And um, this gives, gives us not enough time to prepare all the textbooks and to prepare all the, all the educational material, materials that are really needed for the children. So um, although uh, it is legally, legally prescribed uh, that adjustment must be uh, ready for the, for the beginning of the school year, uh, sometimes the situation, uh, unfortunately, uh, is a little bit uh, different. Okay, uh, and uh, last but not least, uh, the assistive technology and uh, website accessibility directive um, I would like to thank here my colleague Bruno. He prepared uh, this part and he is our uh, IT uh, expert in this field. Um, so I will only uh, short, shortly uh, point out uh, that uh, Creation Blind Union is working very actively um, in all the questions about the directive uh, since the uh, uh, last five years, since 2019. And um, we are also doing uh, workshop, workshops and educations uh, and we help our uh, members, but also uh, visual impaired people that needs uh, an assistant with assistive technology, with 
maybe uh, their mobile phones or any uh, different device, they can uh, call us, they can come to Creation Blind Union, or we can also uh, do this uh, via our mobile teams and we can provide them support and uh, teach them how to use some uh, different devices. And um, okay, uh, here we can also point out uh, that uh, we uh, did the live demonstration of what using a screen reader on a computer looks like and how to uh, skip links. And it is a really uh, useful uh, information for visual impaired people. Um, also, we are uh, working together in this field with uh, Creation Academy and a Research Network. Um, and uh, we are trying to, um, to implement uh, some uh, general uh, guidelines about uh, digital accessibility. And uh, so everyone uh, has the same opportunity to, uh, to use some digital uh, technology. Um, okay, and uh, we, uh, we are working also with the uh, private sector. Uh, we have some uh, really great success in uh, adapting some mobile banking apps. Uh, for visually impaired people. And uh, as mentioned, we also uh, provide directly support to our members all over country. Uh, we do also workshops, uh, trainings, and everything that is needed to help uh, people with visual impairment uh, to use technology. Okay, um, <laughs> that's it from me uh, for now. I will now uh, stop uh, sharing my screen. Uh, so uh, Petar can share his screen. screen. <laughs> okay. And um, he will tell you something more about uh, Tiflotechna and Prematura. It is really interesting. So um, Pero, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Thank you already. So Jana, for this very lively and interesting and, and complete presentation. Whenever Peter is ready, we'll uh, carry on. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, can you hear me? Can you see the, the PowerPoint presentation? Uh, not yet. For now, not, uh, but I can get over to your office and we can share it together. Well, Just a second. Yes. Oh, what is this? Is now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Srijana. Thank you, Valerie. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Peter Glavas. Uh, I'm a director of Tiflotechna, the company that was founded by Croatian Blind Union. And I will uh, try to uh, present you our company and our efforts to improve the quality of life for visually impaired people. So who, who are we? As I said, the Tiflotechana is a limited liability company founded by Croatian Blind Union almost 14 years ago. It all started uh, during the late uh, 2000s and early 2010s when a new legal framework was implemented by uh, Croatian government that said that associations like Croatian Blind Union could not perform economic activities anymore but could found companies that will perform such activities for the association. And that's how Tiflat Techna got founded. And the Croatian Blind Union, after it founded Tiflat Techna, moved all its economic activities to the company. Tiflat Techna was founded as a social enterprise with the aim of performing specialized economic activities to improve the quality of life of visually impaired people in the Republic of Croatia. Our work is based on principle, principles of equal opportunities, universal design, accessibility, and better quality of life for blind people in accordance with the expressed needs, defined priorities, and guidelines of the Croatian Blind Union as the founder. Uh, our mission is a reliable procurement and distribution of high quality Tiflo technical aids and assistive technologies, procurement of specialized equipment and provision of uh, full support for adapting workplaces to employers who employ people with visual impairments 
as well as support in all segments of accessibility and universal design. Our vision is by continuously monitoring the needs for new innovative solutions in the field of assistive technologies uh, to remain the leading distributor of different technical aids and assistive technologies and to enrich the range of products and services that contribute to improving the quality of life of people with visual impairment. Our mission and vision are followed by three goals, three main goals. And of course, one of them is customer satisfaction. Uh, we try to provide superior services and support to every user. Uh, the second goal is to implement innovative products. So we strive to find new solutions to improve our products and services, providing users with the best possible support, experience and product demonstrations. The third goal, and probably the most important one, is equality, as we believe in cooperation with our clients in order to find the best quality solutions for everyone because their equality is our priority. Uh, to reach our goals, we provide a whole range of uh, services and the most established ones are uh, distribution uh, of aids for visually impaired, uh, manufacture and application of eye prosthetics, universal design, promotion and improvement of building accessibility, workplace adaptation and my favorite, accessible tourism. First, we'll take a, uh, I'll say a few words for every service. Uh, and we'll, first, we're going to take a look of it for visually impaired. So Tiflotechna is a contractual distributor of aids for blind and partially sighted uh, that are financially covered by Croatian Institute for Health Insurance. So basically, there's a regulation called orthopedic and other aids regulation that decides uh, what aids will be financially covered by the, the Institute. Tiflotechna and Croatian Blind Union are always actively trying to update and refresh the list uh, of said aids while introducing innovative solutions to meet the needs of blind and visually impaired. Basically, every time there is a technological innovation on the market, we try to assess uh, what needs uh, can uh, the aid meet. Uh, and if the product is good, we try to lobby uh, to institute to put it on the list. Tiflotechna is also an exclusive Braille machine repair service, and we are specialized uh, in Perkins Braille Writer in Croatia. We also are exclusive distributor of speech and Braille watches in Croatia, and uh, we participated in speech synthesis of Croatian language in those speech watches that uh, we distribute. Uh, our market is mostly Croatia, but we distribute uh, our products to all uh, of former Yugoslavian republics, uh, such as Slovenia, Serbia, Macedonia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Montenegro. So basically, the most distributed aids for our members are, are, of course, white cane, braille and speech watches, braille display, Evo player and recorder, electronic magnifier, and blind shell cell phone for blind person. Uh, of course, there are many more aids in our stock, like, like uh, liquid indicators, speech scales, thermometer with speech functions, and etc. Another service that we provide is eye prosthetics. So, as you know, an eye prosthes prosthesis is an eye aid that is a replacement for a real eye. It helps to improve the appearance of people who have lost an eye due to injury or disease. It has a therapeutic and aesthetic function. It supports the eyelids, enables blinking and the outflow of tears. And in children, it enables the nor normal growth and uh, uh, advancement of the eye socket. It consists of, uh, consists of uh, the sclera and iris with the pupil. So basically, it looks like a a uh, normal natural eye and of course uh, because uh, needs of people are different every eye prosthesis is individually handmade for every patient. Uh, eye prosthetics manufacture in Croatia was started by Croatian Blind Union over 40 years ago 
and the Tiflotechna continued the, the service uh, after its uh, foundation. Uh, we cooperate uh, with licensed experts uh, who have tens of years of experience. And uh, we manufacture two types of eye, eye prosthesis. Uh, the first one is creolite prosthesis and the other was, one is polymetal metal creolite. So basically, Creolite prosthesis uh, is an advanced glass prosthesis. Uh, it has some better functions than normal glass. And PMMA is basically a, a plastic prosthesis. On average, Diplotechna uh, has seven eye prosthesis production campaigns per year. Four of them is creolite prosthesis and three of them are usually PMMA. And per year, we provide this service to 470 people in Croatia. Uh, as part of its publishing activity, Tiflotechna publishes lit literature intended for visually impaired people according to their needs. Uh, Tiflotechna provides literature in adapted forms such as braille print and large print audio and digital forms uh, of uh, records. In addition to standard braille printing, we also have simultaneous printing and standard printing technology, which respects the main principle of universal design, because literature printed in this one can be used by both sighted and blind people as well. One of our innovative printers uses UV print technology that enables the production of braille marking on the different surfaces, such as glass, metal, and plastic, and is used in various public Spaces such as theaters, hotels, and offices. Uh, one of the examples of our universal design is uh, it can be seen in one of our most significant significant projects that uh, we made in cooperation with Croatian Blind Union, and that's the production of the brochure uh, "How to Recognize Euro Banknotes and Coins for People with Visual Impairments." Uh, so basically, this brochure uh, adapted to Braille inscription is was a key adaptation that followed the introduction of the euro in Croatia in 2023. This makes it easier for visually impaired people to recognize new currency, thereby further reducing barriers in everyday financial transaction. Uh, this brochure was very popular, uh, not only by uh, blind population, by the sighted uh, as well. Uh, on this slide, uh, we have a couple of pictures of the said brochure. So, uh, as you can see, uh, we printed in universal design a uh, description of every banknote and a coin. Uh, the brochure also contains the example of banknote with a real tactile feel under its fingers. We also included the uh, dimensions of every banknote and uh, our members could compare the length and width of each banknote in the brochure. Another service that we provide is uh, promoting accessibility of bu buildings for people with disabilities. So basically that's regulated by con the Construction Act in Croatia and the ordinance uh, on ensuring the accessibility of buildings for people with disabilities and reduced mobility. These legal acts uh, define obligations regarding the constructions of new building as well as obligations regarding the adaptation of existing building during their reconstruction. Uh, re reconstruction. So the main problem with these acts uh, is that there is no reper repercussions uh, re uh, regulated if those obligations are not met. So basically, if an investor uh, wants to build a, a building uh, of public use and he doesn't include uh, the accessibility elements in it, uh, there is no nothing will happen to him. There is no fine, there is no nothing. Fortunately, European Union uh, funds uh, a lot of those projects and it insists that investors include uh, accessibility ele elements during the building uh, process of uh, those buildings. 
And so Tifotech now procures and assembles, assembles tactile paths and orientation plans as well. So as you know, tactile paths are a fundamental element of accessibility that enable blind and partially sighted people to move independently. They are made with a relief treatment of uh, the surface up to five millimeters high and are easily recognizable by the touch of foot or a white cane. Also, uh, orientation plans uh, show the floor plan of the interior of the building, marking important details such as stairs, elevators, room, toilets. They contain inscriptions in start and print of foresighted and visually impaired people and in braille for the blind. Uh, on this slide, we have a couple of pictures of outside tactile paths and inside tactile paths, as well as orientation plans. Uh, just a few words of workplace adaptation. Uh, so that's a process that enables the uh, achievement of work potential and equally includes people with disabilities uh, in the labor market. Uh, basically, every employer that employs a, a person with a disability uh, can uh, adapt its workplace and can be reimbursed for the costs of adapting the workplace and working conditions as well. Tiflotechna uh, provides the service of uh, adaptation of workplaces for visually impaired, which most often includes adapted IT equipment and uh, can include various other assistive technologies. That's it. Uh, and our final service uh, that uh, I'm especially proud of is accessible tourism. I actually started uh, my work in Tiflotechna as a hostel manager. Uh, Tiflotechna manages, uh, it's a hostel, but it's also an education rehabilitation camp for visually impaired. This three-star hospitality facilities offers visually impaired their family members and assistants an opportunity to enjoy a carefree uh, vacation and rest. Uh, it's called uh, Eric's Preventura, and it's located in Istria, uh, 12 kilometers south of Pula and near, which is the southernmost point of the Istrian Peninsula and nature park Cape Kamenyak. Preventura is actually a small village uh, that has around maybe 100 people living in there. But during the, the tourist season, it's, it's packed with tourists. So Experimentura, as I said, uh, that's our hostel. It's the only hospitality building in Croatia that is completely adjusted to blind and uh, visually impaired people. Inside the building on the floor walls and the glass walls, there are tactile surfaces, guidelines and markings for blind and partially sighted, which enable better orientation and uh, independent movement. Tactile orientation plans uh, are placed in every room and hallway and all rooms are marked with enlarged standard print and braille. The hostel is also sort of, uh, suitable for people in wheelchairs. The ground floor of the hostel has been adapted in such a way that all accesses uh, to the uh, reception terrace, restaurant and uh, lower floor rooms are lowered and in addition one room on the ground floor has a bathroom adapted for people with motor disabilities and in the drawer of each room there are house rules printed uh, on both croatian braille and standard print uh, in our hostel there are 27 uh, 26 air conditioned rooms with private bathrooms in the terrace most of our rooms uh, two bedrooms, uh, which contain uh, another help bed. We can uh, we can reimagine it to be a three bedroom. The total capacity is six, sixty seven beds, and also uh, we have a conference room. We have a re restaurant with a professional kitchen that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner for our guests, and we have a coffee bar as well. Uh, ten minutes walk. Uh, from the hostel will take you to a nearest beach uh, that is fully adapted for blind people and uh, people in wheelchair as well. Uh, our staff is educated in the field of communication with blind and visually impaired, 
so there will be no problems there and of course most important thing uh, our coffee bar serves the cheapest beer in town uh, our hostel is uh, working during the tourist season only so between june and september usually it takes uh, 90 days to our season to end and on average, uh, we get 750 guests that spend 3,500 nights uh, at our place per year. And most of those guests are people with disabilities that come here and with their assistants or family. So 580 guests are persons with disabilities and their family members or assistants. I've got a couple of pictures uh, of uh, and a un universal design that we use in our hostel. So orientation plans, our key chains are uh, printed in standard print and braille as well. And those uh, are printed in standard print and braille as well. Of more pictures uh, uh, here are our contact information uh, if you want to chat you can contact me on these uh, numbers and email address and that's it thank you very much uh, for your attention thank you Peter we all want to come and uh, experience this wonderful place <laughs> thank you feel free to come <laughs> thank you for your overall presentation anyway that's very interesting also to have both sides of uh, the reality in your country, the, uh, the DPU and the service provider. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, it's me again. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Peter. This was really interesting. Um, so um, we finished now the theoretical part of the presentation. And uh, we invite you now, if you want uh, to share anything about uh, the things you heard here, um, maybe you want to add some comment or, or you have some question, um, we can give you the floor now. So um, if anyone wants to say something. <laughs> So I'm just checking it's not so clear. I'm just checking if somebody uh, has uh, his or her hand raised, but I've seen that uh, Madeleine, uh, you have activated your camera. Maybe you, is there any question you would like to share? I, I, no, not not not. I, know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just thought I would put my camera on for the chat, but but no. I mean, I just like to say an amazing presentation, and and thank you so much. It's it's very interesting. I think that in many ways, uh, your organisation seems to be quite similar to um, our own in Ireland, uh, in this in the way that you're providing services, but also you know advocacy and uh, and then also with your you know, the the company, which it seems to do more than we have a, a separate company that works in the technology space um and we i don't know what the status quite is but we had another one that was more in the kind of um accessibility of the built environment but uh but, you know it's, it's just fantastic to see all the work that you're doing and uh particularly interested in the work that you've done on the uh getting um the provision of the seeing assistant um uh, because that is a big issue here where we have there is a personal assistance scheme in Ireland um, that people can apply for but as you say it's kind of on the basis of greatest need so at the moment people who are blind or vision impaired don't generally get access to that because you know people with physical disabilities often would take priority and then you know there aren't enough resources so I think it's very interesting that you've advocated to make that a separate <laughs> scheme um, so that the needs of people who are blind or vision impaired are kind of seen <laughs> you know, uh, as having a, an equal importance, uh, but that there are they are different needs to those, mis, you know, with physical disabilities. So I think that there's a learning for us in that, I think. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Madeleine, for sharing this. It was really nice uh, to hear all the nice words. So uh, thank you. 
And um, let me just take a second the opportunity uh, to thank all of my colleagues because um, I actually recently started working in uh, Creation Blend Union, <laughs> quite more like last month. Uh, so all this great work uh, we talked about, uh, it, uh, this uh, was all uh, due to my colleagues and uh, our CEO Andrea, maybe she uh, joined us later on. Uh, so uh, thank you all guys, you did an amazing job. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you, Madeline, for sharing. May maybe uh, someone else would like uh, to add some comments? Um, if I may, uh, sure, Dana, I would like just to share one question. Uh, it's true that my main domain is communication, uh, but by working at TVU, of course, uh, one of the things we've done in the area of employment, one of the areas that has been covered in uh, one of the presentations, is um, following the disability employment package, which is part of the EU strategy for the rights of persons with disabilities 21, uh, 2030. Um, so uh, in that context, uh, we produced uh, uh, some guidelines, which we invite you to take a look at in our website, they're av available there. Uh, I just wanted to to ask uh, because uh, in your presentation uh, you mentioned the European element of the Croatian Blind Union or uh, through the Rasmus projects and so on. Um, in the long run, uh, uh, through for example uh, uh, the commitments and engagements of uh, Tifo Tenia, I'm not uh, sure if I pronounced it correctly, uh, but uh, in the long run. Uh, uh, do you envision the the company to also maybe uh, expand uh, the outscope of its activity also to a European domain, such as maybe uh, assessing the European disability employment package or something like that? Um. Okay, thank you for uh, the question. I uh, want to be honest yeah. with you. Uh, currently, I uh, don't know the exact yeah. uh, answer to this, but we can get uh, back to you and uh, look it up a little bit. Uh, in um, For uh, what I know, uh, we do not have uh, implemented yet the visual employment package and uh, the guidelines, but uh, we will for sure uh, look it up on the EBU website and then uh, we can maybe think about it or uh, see if we can do something in this uh, direction. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, thank you, of course, for uh, pointing this out. No, no, and so sorry for the question. I I know that you're, you're new, perhaps it was uh, the question was more direct to any of uh, your colleagues who has been there for a longer time and maybe uh, has a better, uh, let's say, glimpse of the subject. Uh, but again, thank you very much, uh, Sherdana, for the interesting presentations. Um, now, uh, uh, I see that Michal from Slovakia has his hand raised. So <laughs> please, Michal, uh, the floor is yours. Hello, I, I hope you can hear me. Thank yes. you for a very nice presentation. Yes. Uh, I'm Michal from Slovakia and I work in a library for blind people and I also work in a Braille working group of EBU. Uh, I just would like to ask, um, I I believe uh, Chief Officer of Tiflotechna, uh, I'm interested in a setups for uh, workplaces uh, and mostly I'm interested in uh, Braille displays. How, how is the situation in, in your country uh, about Braille displays? Do you, um, do you have more than, let's say, one uh, brand you are, you are offering? Or um, do people get to Braille displays easily? Or is it a difficulty? Or, or how is it with the digital Braille in general in, in your country? Thank you. Hey, would you like to answer? Yeah, thank you for the question. Uh, the Braille display is not that uh, hard to find here. So basically, it's uh, it's financed by the Institute for Health Insurance of Croatia, 
and uh, the doctor uh, gives you a note that you use you you can come with us uh, you can come to us uh, give us the, that note we give you the the machine there may be a waiting period but i'm not sure uh, how much uh, do you need to wait uh, we have a, a we are a retail uh, salesman and we we uh, buy it from abroad so there is a waiting period for it but there is no no complications for it to to acquire it thank you very much you. uh Peter, uh is there anybody else who would like to share uh, any questions uh to our croatian colleagues um <clears throat> Uh, I will just yeah. uh, <laughs> thank Valerie. you. Um, thank you again. Yes, a very interesting, very enlightening presentation. And of course, uh, we can, uh, as we usually do uh, with those uh, webinars, we then write a little article and on uh, for the members' uh, newsletter, for the EBU members' newsletter. In this article, we can also include anything else that hasn't been covered or answers to questions to later late questions but also links towards the uh, <clears throat> the documents you mentioned Sergena uh, mm -hmm. and also for instance uh, the standards for implementation of uh, personal assistant uh, and so on so um, again this is a uh, very interesting but it, we will follow it up with uh, more information and document and links to your website uh, for content in English um, that might be interesting, that I'm sure will be interesting for the rest of the EBU members. And um, just um, on one point, uh, talking also from experience, I remember that when uh, Lars uh, and I went to a conference in Montenegro, on accessible uh, voting, the Croatia was also represented, and I wonder how you you work originally. If I mean, you don't have to answer now, but uh, I'm just wondering what's the local uh, dynamic. Uh, you talked about a consortium with uh, other countries like uh, uh, Montenegro um, and uh, Bosnia, for instance, who is not part of the. Um, European Union. So I was interested if you, ha if any of you here, or maybe later, have any, any view, any details about this uh, transnational collaboration. Okay, uh, if I understood co correctly, my other colleague uh, Tonka Antonia participated in this. So uh, Antonia, would you like maybe to share something about this question? No. Okay, um, we can get uh, to you back about this uh, question also. We can write you via email and then we can uh, put it into a uh, webinar or uh, it's this information. I can, okay. I can answer in a few okay. words. So basically our <laughs> collaboration with the, the EBU and European Union uh, are, is not so extensive. Uh, that uh, it's not so excessive as uh, we would like it to be. So that's why we, uh, CBU, employed Srijana to put it on another level. And we hope uh, that <laughs> we're going to manage it in a couple of months or maybe a year. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Doing great so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see a lot of thumbs up and hearts. So... This means that uh, this is going very well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. So um, I would just like to, um, Valerie, if you agree, just to make a quick round of questions just before, uh, because we have some time left. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, here we have Cecilia from our Swedish member. Um, Cecilia, uh, I just, uh, if you don't mind, I would just like to ask you a question uh, <clears throat> about uh, the presentation uh, we've just seen. And also since uh, our Swedish member was the, 
the last main character of our members webinar. Um, I would just like to ask you, Cecilia, if, uh, well, uh, are there any areas that have been discussed uh, within uh, our Croatian uh, members' uh, domains of work that uh, resounded to you in relation to uh, your presentation in the last session? Yeah, I think uh, the part about the personal assistant is a bit similar um what we talked about uh, as we work as we are working hard with our guides uh, here in Sweden uh, but we have not uh, reached the same results as you have in in Croatia Croatia with your mm -hmm. act uh, but we hope someday that we will reach this good results um, with our um, guides here in, in Sweden. So that's something um, that I will take with me that you are working so successfully with, with the personal assistant side. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cecilia. Uh, uh, you perceived a wonderful heart from Sherdana. <laughs> uh, uh, as I said a few moments ago, uh, we're just moving from the north now to the Baltic area. Uh, Bill Mantis, uh, I would just like to ask a question to you. Uh, in terms of personal assistance, uh, I would just like to, to ask you if you could just give us a quick summary of how's the current situation of uh, this domain in Lithuania, you could. Uh, hello to everyone. Uh, in Lithuania, we have personal assistant. It, uh, it's also uh, evolved from project. So I don't really know. For two, we have it for two years, I think so. And uh, now we, we are having issues with finances because at first uh, uh, the assistant uh, uh, was, we could say, popularized they had to popularize it because it was a new service and uh, the uh, government regional uh, uh, um, municipalities uh, kind of carelessly uh, deliver, not delivered but assigned this service and now we have a issue with uh, financing because there's not enough finances for for this service so we are uh, adjusting this uh, to be to for the assessment to be more precise and uh, uh, so I, I I also also would would like to have, um, use this opportunity to say to other countries that you put a uh, good efforts in uh, pr uh, producing good assessment system. To, to assess real needs of uh, uh, people with disabilities uh, for, for this system not to go out of hand. Thank you. Hmm. So, Shardana, I don't know if you want to maybe reply, read something to the Montes intervention. Um, yes, I, I just want to say uh, th thank you for sharing. Um, and yes, we did a really great work, but uh, if I understood correctly, we are uh, also facing uh, some challenges yet uh, regarding these uh, services. And uh, we agree in this part that uh, the finance uh, financing of this service in Croatia um, is also something we uh, need to work on. Uh, because um, the amount set uh, from the ministry is unfortunately not enough uh, to cover all the needs that are uh, present in real life, but uh, we are actively working on it. So, hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Sherdana. Uh, we have five minutes left, uh, uh, Barry, so I think that we have time to squeeze in a couple of more questions. Uh, we have Michel who has raised again his hand, so please, Michel, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, add to this personal assistant topic that here in Slovakia we have uh, two kinds of uh, supports. Uh, we have a personal assistant for, let's say, a personal life and then a work assistant at work, which is actually something similar, but for um, work 
tasks. But we are also facing right now a new legislation uh, problems, which are actually about limiting these uh, services. Yeah, sorry, I had. I, sorry, no, sorry. Please go ahead. Ah, okay, I, I thought that you. Okay. No, no, no. Because uh, somebody activated. Okay. My, so, my... um, be, before or right now, it works that um, the assistant is paid by hour with some wage, uh, which is in in some uh, I don't know five euros or something, and uh, blind or visually impaired person have a possibility to to has a possibility possibility to apply for a certain amount of hours. But uh, right now there are some um, intentions to to limit it to some specific uh, budget for each assistant, which is actually a situation in uh, Czech Republic. Uh, there, there is a budget for for assistant that you you can't um, get more hours when you need them. So maybe this is a question if. Perhaps we could advocate this in in general as a as a I don't know if if EBU could give a statement to 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 this. What what would be the the best practice we know about in in our countries? Maybe I don't know. But this limitation is really something which is going to triple the the the, the service which actually right now is available at least in our country. Thank you. Thank you, Michel. We'll definitely pass on your message to uh, our campaign officer. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much, Michel, for your intervention. Uh, there was um, Valerie, uh, the person who has the name Samsung SM. Well, I guess it's the name of uh, his or her mobile phone number. So I'm going to activate the his or her mic. Uh, it was a uh, yeah. Right. Hello, hello. Could you can you can you hear us? Can you hear us? Hello. No, perhaps this wasn't a question. Maybe maybe it's just uh, if the person who no, hasn't been no. identified wants yeah. to speak. Yeah, 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 I agree. yeah they will. Yeah, I agree. They can I agree. do so now, I but I think it's yeah. just a manipulation. Of so we have. The last question will be for Bill Mantas. Uh, so, uh, Bill Mantas, uh, please uh, go ahead. So, uh, for me, it it is always interesting uh, to talk about finances. Uh, so, maybe you could share um, uh, which source of the finances in Croatia is uh, the biggest for your uh, association or for some services or for advocacy you have as you said you have some special program but uh, this this thing is really important how to uh, finance our associations and our associations fruitful work so it, it's interesting uh, in croatia which is the biggest part of finances uh, uh, in in your association or from services or from uh, some projects or uh, direct uh, maybe some program support for disability associations. So that's my question. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, Gil Mantas. Um, so okay, I just uh, I just want to take a short second. Our uh, uh, team leader and CEO Andrea just joined the meeting. Andrea, would you like to come? No, she she's waving her and no. Hello to everyone. Okay. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Okay. Hi. Um, hi. Hi. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Um, so just a short answer about the financing. Um, I can say about Croatian Blind Union, but I can also uh, refer um, maybe in general to NGO sector in uh, Croatia. I worked in uh, this sector for, uh, let's say, about uh, 10 years uh, in different organizations. And um it, it is uh, pretty much uh still a project based uh, finance we now have uh, as you uh, heard in this presentation from the uh, national uh, foundation from this year on 
um, support uh, for continuous financing. Uh, but uh, besides them, uh, we are also uh, pretty much depending on projects. Uh, it is a good thing uh, when the organization is active in European projects because the funds are um, a little bit higher and you can uh, do uh, uh, greater activities, but we are also depending on uh, financing from our uh, minus ministries uh, in different areas and also in a smaller part uh, from our uh, local community from the city of Zagreb. Small community, uh, yes, and uh, also uh, our own uh, finances in a smaller part. Mm -hmm. So, okay, maybe if uh, someone has an uh, other example, or uh, maybe in some countries the, a better situation, you can also uh, add a comment if you want. And you can also, uh, I also invite you to listen to previous presentations. Uh, Sweden had a, an extensive um, a part of their presentation on the finances um, in the last webinar. Mm -hmm even though the capacity from country to country obviously is different <laughs> depending on the on the general population and the governmental support and all that thank you yes this is true and this is also my experience in working with other organizations and we did when we did uh, project partnerships and we did uh, budgeting for the project uh, we had some situations i cannot remember exactly which uh, country they said Oh no, we, we do not care exactly about money. We uh, have finances, uh, the state uh, budget, uh, our activities. So we are oh, oh, okay. <laughs> nice for you, but yeah, it is different yeah. in every country. Definitely, and that's why the good practices at your level are very enlightening to other members of similar capacity as well. And mm -hmm. a good exchange of of uh, working practices is a uh, is a very enlightening um, exchange. Thank you. Okay, so Valerie, I think that uh, we are um, uh, finished with the round of questions. Uh, so if, uh, yeah. if you want, uh, you can just give the closing remarks after this wonderful presentation. Uh, yes, thank you, Nacho. And thank you, thank you for asking all the questions, the right questions to, <laughs> to everyone, which was uh, really interesting. Um, and again, uh, many thanks to the Croatian Blind Union for this uh, very good presentation. I'm sure we, it will be listened again on the replay and we will send all the information through an article on the members newsletter. And if um, the people present here want to initiate a similar webinar in the future, feel free to contact uh, me. The address is membership at euroblind.org. Uh, perhaps, uh, Shudrana, you can also re uh, give again the advice of the Croatian Blind Union in case people have further questions afterwards, an address you would like to share. Or we could, you can also go to the website of EBU where you have all uh, a page dedicated to members with all the details. You can also do that if that's easier for you in either either uh, way you can you can contact us through various okay. channels and we'll pass it pass on the messages thank you uh, for now um we need just uh, uh, to point out that uh, our uh, um web page is uh, still in Croatian language but we are actively working on it uh, to translate it into english uh, especially for international networking and for our international projects so um, for now, you can, of course, uh, visit our uh, website. Uh, you may find our uh, contact information. We can also, Valerie, uh, give you the information and uh, we can put it uh, in the newsletter, as you said. So uh, everyone who wants to contact us can get uh, back to us. And uh, we will, of course, try to um, do at least one part of our website uh, to translate it in English. Uh, so you can also find there uh, some additional information. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, so now I think we can stop the recording and, yeah. and say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye yeah. and many, many thanks. Thank you Bye. very much.
Yes, thank uh, you. Thank Very you all. Uh, it was really great to participate. Uh, we are really. Uh, it was a great surprise to see you in such a big number, and uh, it was really, really great uh, to have this opportunity to present uh, many organizations. So yeah. thank you, thank uh, you all of uh, my team members and Andrea for joining. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you and very much. Course, thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.